Couchbase administration. So basically this course is discussing about the database administration. It's not covering the developer concepts. So before going to discuss about the actual Couchbase administration, let's discuss three requisite concepts like CAP theorem. After CAP theorem, we can see the best persistence technologies as per our need. The types of NoSQL databases, a little bit history about Couchbase and Couchbase architecture. What is a Couchbase document and is a Couchbase bucket. Types of buckets in Couchbase and the list of services supported by Couchbase. CAP CAP means consistency, availability and partition tolerance. Any NoSQL database at a time support any two of these three. Consistency and partition tolerance, this is one combination. The CAP, availability and partition tolerance, Couchbase is also part of it. Before going to this point, availability and partition tolerance, always service request across multiple data centers, even with network problems, data will be eventually consistent. Cassandra eventually consistent system and the Couchbase, when we are using XDCR synchronization between clusters, there is a minute consistency delay we can tune it depending on few parameter settings the next combination is CA consistency and availability services requests with immediately consistent data in a vertically scaled system which persistence technologies are appropriate? If you are planning to store user sessions in your database, Couchbase, Ephemeral, Buckets and Redis is a good fit. If you want to store financial data, the RDBM systems are best fit like Oracle, PostgreSQL and MySQL. If you want to store shopping cart information, again, Couchbase, Ephemeral or React is a good fit. If you want to give some recommendations, for example, if you take e-commerce website and you want to buy a product, so once you add that product to your cart, now there you can see few recommendations. If you observe like frequently bought together items are similar products you can see below that product so these are uh, recommendations to the user so this can be assured through a graph database called neo4j product catalog if you want to store product information like pictures of the product price of the product and uh, some description about the product so all these things can be stored using couchbase or mongodb for reporting you can opt rdbms databases for analytic purpose couchbase analytics or cassandra are good fit Major types of NoSQL database, key value store, Couchbase, MongoDB, Redis, Memcast, these comes under key value. Couchbase is both key value and document database from 2.0 version onwards. You can refer this link for more information on this. Document store, DynamoDB, Couchbase and MongoDB are good fit. Cassandra and SillaDB comes under column store and graph database as we discussed Neo4j. NoSQL companies Couch and Membase merged to form Couchbase in 2011. Architecture as you see in the circle, it's a memory first database support persistence. It will support permanent storage as well, elastic scalable. It provides replication as well. These are the list of services that we are going to discuss. Now this is a Couchbase node. Cluster manager is running on all the Couchbase nodes. If you have four nodes in the cluster, on all four nodes, cluster manager will be up and running. These are the list of services that you can opt for on a Couchbase node. Data, query, index, search, eventing and analytics. Suppose you want to use only data, query and index nodes. You can only select those. You can ignore rest of the three services because you are not going to use it. What is a document? It's an entry in the database. In the other databases, we call it as a row. It will store data as key value pairs. This is a sample content of a document. Each document also have some metadata. So as you see in this picture, ID, the revision count, used for to resolve conflict resolution when we are using bidirectional replication. So this metadata will be used for expiration conflict resolution for other purposes. Couchbase bucket. A bucket is used to store the documents. Each bucket is having 1024 V buckets. These are shards. Data is spread evenly across the cluster with rebalance option. Rebalance will happen whenever you are adding a node or removing a node from the cluster. We will discuss what is a rebalance later. Example, if you have four nodes in your cluster and your cluster is having only one bucket, these 1024 V buckets will be segregated evenly across those four nodes which means each node will be having 256 V buckets. Each key is mapped to a V bucket on the node. These are the types of buckets, Couchbase, Memcast, Ephemeral. So Couchbase bucket works in both memory and disk. So if you want to access data from memory and at the same time you want to store the data permanently on the disk, you can choose Couchbase bucket. Memcast bucket is for backward compatibility only. So Ephemeral is an alternative to the Couchbase bucket to be used whenever persistence is not required, which means you can't store the data to the disk. So these are the list of uh, services, data service, operations are served from the cache first, disk seek only a cache miss. Suppose if you uh, fired a select statement and if the data is available in the cache, it will be served from the cache. If it is not available, then only it will go to the disk. Query means it passes the queries and executes the queries and returns the results. This service interacts with both the data and index services. 
Index. It's used for creation of indexes. This service will interact with query and analytic services. Search. It creates specially purposed indexes which are used for full text search. Example, say the word beauties additionally obtain results for beauty and beautiful. Analytics supports join, set, aggregation, grouping operations and uh, eventing support near real-time handling of changes to data. So these services can be deployed, maintained, provisioned independently of one another. So it's a multi-dimensional scaling. Example, if you have four nodes in your Couchbase cluster, you can use two nodes for data services and you can use other two for query and index service. Anyway, you can anytime add other service nodes as well. When a read request is fired, it will be parsed, analyzed and a plan will be created to get the data and it will contact the index depending on the index filters, what is mentioned in the WHERE class and it will get the qualified document keys depending on the index data which is mentioned in the WHERE class. Here you can consider email. After that, it will communicate this information to the query service. Again, query service interact with data service. It will trigger a fetch request and the data service will provide the fetch documents to the query service. The query service will evaluate the documents and then it will put these results in the cache so that when a user files the same query it will be served from the cache itself and then results. Read request workflow. So when application requests data, it will try to get it from the cache first. If it is not available in the cache, it will get from the disk. Right. When the application inserts some data, it will be written to the cache first and then it will go to the disk queue. From the disk queue, it will go to the disk. And then parallelly, when it is coming to disk queue, it will go to the replication queue as well. Cache ejection, if uh, the cache is filled with uh, documents, then depending on the ejection policy, whether it is full eviction or key value eviction, ejection policies we will discuss later. So depending on the policy, this will be ejected to the disk. Cache miss, if select query fired from the application, if the data is not available in the cache, then it is a cache miss. Since it is not available in the cache, it will get the data from the disk and put it in the cache and serve it to the users. So these are the topics covered in this lecture.